How'd that feel out there? And what do you feel like you guys show passing the ball? Yeah, it was fun. Fun to get back out there. Always fun to be out there week one. Uh, be out there. You know, we practice in the stadium a lot with no fans, and to be out be out there against a, an opponent uh, with the students out there was was really really cool to be out there with your brothers who you've been training with since January. And, um, you know, a team that has, a, you know, I think a chip on their shoulder. I'm excited to put, you know, some things on display, but obviously did some good things, but a lot to clean up as well. Some details, uh, you know, early in the game and, you know, had some things go on, you know, but uh, overall I had, had a lot of fun. What do you think of the way you guys threw the ball around? Uh, I mean, I felt confident out there, you know, uh, I thought I saw, saw everything well and um, it came off my hand pretty well. And, I, you know, I feel like the details, the route details, the receivers, they were, you know, they're on their P's and Q's. So um, looking forward to just growing from, you know, week one into week two and um, excited to get back to work and, um, you know, display some, some other things too. So uh, looking forward to it. I think it was 10 or 11 different guys caught at least one pass. I mean, did you feel like that's something this team can do maybe consistently? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised by that at all. I mean, I think, you know, through all of my media sessions, you know, I've talked about so many different receivers that are going to make their mark, and um, you know, each one of them, and I have so much confidence in because of what they've shown, um, you know, throughout the winter, spring, summer, fall, and um, you know, when, when they get the ball in their hand, they each can do you know something different so well. So, um, so glad all those guys are on you know our team, and um, you know, I'm excited to, to keep growing those connections. Luke, after the way the Kansas game went a year ago, are you happy to see on the schedule this year? Absolutely. It's always good to have a rematch game, whether you come off a win or a, a loss of it. So, um, you know, some familiar faces on that side and, you know, kind of, you know, got a bad taste in our mouth, um, you know, from last year. So looking forward to, uh, you know, next Saturday to be able to go put some things on display and to, to go light it up. You got a taste of them during the camp. Did you get a taste of them during camp or so? Yeah, you know, I think through, you know, whatever team, like th throughout the country, you know, you kind of, um, you know, later in camp, you kind of game plan for some looks sure. that you'll see in the season. So, um, you know, obviously we prepare, prepare for Eastern and right. Illinois looks and Kansas looks and, and things like that. So, um, been thinking about it for a long time. Didn't look past Eastern Illinois at all, right, but um, you know, that's always in the back in the back of our mind and excited to, to go uh, to go play next Saturday. How the uh, coach to player communication system go? Was that pretty smooth? Or? It was good. I was a little bit nervous going into it because you know that the scrimmages, um, you know. You know the the emotions are still there in scrimmages too, and sometimes, um, you know, in the huddle, the longer play calls, sometimes you forget them. And I was worried about going into it, especially with all the environment and fans, um, you know, forgetting some of the longer play calls in the huddle. But um, it was really clean, uh, really confident with it. It went out a couple times. I think on the long touchdown to Malik, it, it went out, and so I had to look at the signal. But um, it was fun. I loved it. It was really cool. You talked about having an explosive off, uh, explosive offense. What do you think of uh, Brian and Nelsey today? I uh, thought they did great. You know, it was, it was super cool to see Pat get in the end zone twice. The kids work so hard, and obviously our team captain. So uh, for him to be in the, in the zone twice is um, no surprise to anybody. And, you know, looking forward to, you know, getting him the ball a lot more. And, you know, to see Malik, um, you know, catch a long one too, even before that too, making a couple guys miss and um, creating an explosive was really cool to see. I know it's going to help his confidence and only going to help him moving forward. Um, and so, but even some other guys like Sakar, you know, the ball didn't find him as much, you know, tonight. But, you know, throughout the game, I was like, you got the next one for sure after coming off a scoring series. And, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes the way things shake out. And it wasn't because he wasn't open or, you know, things like that. It's just, you know, some of the schemes were um, designed and, you know, at specific moments to go, you know, a certain place. So, um, looking forward to all those guys, you know, doing some cool things this year. Uh, compared to a year ago, how much more comfortable do you feel that? compared to a year ago today? Yeah, I just think I'm mentally and, you know, spiritually in a, in a new place. You know, my confidence is so set and, you know, I'm realizing and becoming so so aware of the gifts and talents that God has given me and, you know, ultimately, you know, while I'm out there, you know, I just want to thank him with, you know, my play and how hard I play and, you know, my leadership. So, um, you know, my vision and my perspective is a little bit different this year and a lot different. And, I was looking forward to, you know, keep playing with that same perspective moving forward. Did you think the role of I know Barry has put you and Kurtz in a lot of responsibility and roles this year? How did the communication so you feel like this is how the Really good for a week one execution, you know, in a game day environment. I thought it was um, nearly, I, don't, I mean, I can't think of any issues really. So um, there were some checks to be made and things like that. And, uh, you know, that's that's new to us this year with, you know, him checking things and me checking things. And um, there wasn't an issue really at all. If we can think of, you know, we'll go back and watch it and see. But, um, you know, it's, it's good to hear his voice. You know, I'm asking him a lot of what he sees. And, 
<laughs> and he's asking me uh, a lot, vice versa. So um, he's great up there. You know, the way he communicates, the way he leads those guys, his his football knowledge is, you know, off the charts. So uh, to have him up there is, you know, incredible, to say the least. Did you 